Arashan, working in a healthcare company and based in Germany. In today's video, we'll talk about the timelines and procedure for decentralized procedure, that's DCP, and mutual recognition procedure, that's MRP in EU. In previous video, we saw that there are four types of marketing authorization pathways in EU. Centralized, decentralized, mutual recognition, and national. We talked about the details and differences for each of these pathways in the previous videos. And in our last video, we saw the detailed timeline and procedure for centralized pathway. In this video, we'll talk about the detailed timeline and procedure for decentralized and mutual recognition pathway. First, let me ask you one question. What are the regulatory bodies, committees or organization involved in DCP and MRP? Do you know that? As I mentioned in the previous video, there is a coordination group called CMDH. The full form is the coordination group for mutual recognition and decentralized procedures for human. So this is a group which is responsible to deal with any questions and procedures related to MRP or DCP. But do you know what this CMDH is and what are the members of this CMDH and who all are part of it? So this CMDH is kind of a group of few people. And who are these few people? Let's see that. These are the representative per member state from each of the EEA countries. I hope you remember from my last video what this EEA is. This is nothing but EU plus three additional countries. So CMDH has a representative from each of these countries. These are not the fixed members, meaning these members are not part of CMDH throughout their life. Okay, All members and alternative members which are part of CMDH, they are appointed in the committee for a three year period, which is renewable. So after three years, they can again serve for next three years on a renewal basis and so on. So once you have decided that you want to go by a DCP and MRP, you would decide which country you would select as RMS and which country as CMS. Do you know what is the deciding factor which country you will select as RMS and which country as CMS? Let's see that. Of course, this will be based on regulatory strategy and commercial reasons, but we also need to consider other factors like availability of RMS and available slots because sometime you want to select one country as RMS, but that country does not have any free slots. So this is also one of the deciding factor. Is that RMS is supportive of product or dossier during scientific advice? So we have to see that as well. What kind of expertise that RMS has for certain type of products? So these all things has to be considered while selecting your RMS. While for MRP, by default, RMS is the country where dossier was filed first and approved first, right? Uh, so once you know what your targeted RMS and CMS will be, you can now apply for DCP and MRP procedure. If you go and check on CMDH website, there is an option there which guides you through this entire process. I have given a snapshot here. Like for DCP, as you can see in this figure highlighted in yellow, there is a request form by which you apply for RMS. So after my video, I would recommend that you go through CMDH site. Uh, you just click on this request form and see what kind of information this request form asks for. Okay, let's do that homework after the video. Similar way for MRP, as you can see in this figure, again highlighted in yellow, there is an option by which you can apply for MRP. Now you have seen how to navigate through CMDH website. Uh, you can click on it and do your homework later on. But now you know how to do that and where to find the request form and how to apply for DCP and MRP. Now let's see how these timeline work for DCP and MRP and what are the differences. First, let's start with DCP. As in previous video, I mentioned that both DCP and MRP is a two-step process. So in step first, applicants submit the dossier to these RMS and CMS and then validation phase start, which lasts for 14 days. Once the validation is completed, then the day zero of review starts. After the review, at day 70, RMS prepares the preliminary assessment report. In short, I will refer it like PAR in my video. So they prepare the PAR and send it to all the CMS. Then by day 100, CMS send their comments to RMS. So if they have any extra questions or comments or anything, RMS will log into these comments and 
uh, if RMS and CMS they agree that there are no major objection and drug can be approved then the cycle closes here and national phase can start after this but if there are any question or comments then by day 105 they will be sent to applicant and clock will be stopped once applicant submit the response then the review cycle can start and again the same cycle will start but with different timelines during this step the uh, PAR is now converted to DAR which is draft assessment report by day 180 RMS takes the decision and send it to all the CMS if all CMS also agree with this decision then by day 210 the procedure is closed but if the agreement is not reached and CMS and RMS they are not able to take one decision and they are having some kind of disagreement then the issue will be referred to CMDH. CMDH will try to set up some common ground and will try to resolve these issues and things but if then also the disagreement are not resolved then this will be referred to CHMP by day 207 for arbitration uh, and the process which is followed for this is called referral in case of any unresolved disagreements. So once the procedure is closed, the step to start which is called national phase. In this national phase, the translated copies of documents like SMPC, labeling, PIL, all these are reviewed by each member state at national level. And why? Because this is a local information which is specific to that particular country in their own particular local language. You would have seen some labels with different different local language right something is written on the labels in different different kind of uh, language right so that's how the for drug product also the label has a local specific language requirement and that's why all these kind of documents are reviewed locally the standard approval timeline for this national phase is 30 days but it can really I mean practically it can really last from 15 days to 6 months depending on the country so till then you cannot sell your product in that country only after getting the national license you can sell your product in that country so this was all about DCP now we'll see the timeline for MRP in first step for MRP as you know that one country is already approved right and that's why you are going you want to add more country and that's why you're going by MRP and not by decentralized this is the prerequisite so the first step is getting the national approval this timeline for national approval can vary depending on country um, because it depends which country you are selecting as RMS right so this will really be very specific to that country you request this RMS to make updated assessment report RMS send this updated report then to CMS then in second step we submit our dossier to selected country which are called CMS and then as usual first the validation phase of 14 days starts after this validation phase passes the day zero of our review cycle start all the CMS start the review procedure whatever comments they have they will send it uh, to RMS by day 50 and also they will send these comments to us as an applicant okay so RMS and applicant both of us they will receive uh, the questions from CMS by day 60 uh, we as applicant have to submit our responses to CMS and RMS both if there are any further remaining comments CMS will again send these remaining comments to RMS and to us as an applicant by day 75 if required we can also conduct some kind of breakout session or discussion which will happen between RMS, CMS and us as an applicant and we can resolve some kind of issue during those breakout sessions. Once the applicant submit the response by day 85 the CMS takes their final opinion or kind of position. If all CMS agree on this position RMS close the review cycle and they will close it by day 90. But Again, like DCP, if there are any disagreement between RMS and CMS on their opinion, they will reach out to CMDH. But if even then the disagreement are not resolved, then this will be referred to CHMP for arbitration by a procedure called referral. So referral we also use for DCP, we also use for MRP. 
So again like DCP, the national phase will happen in MRP as well where the documents, the local documents will be reviewed by that particular country in their local language like labels and SNPCs, those kind of documents. Okay. Only after this you can sell your product in that particular country. So this was all about the timelines and procedural aspect of DCP and MRP. But before we end this video, do you know what is repeat use MRP? If you know the answer, then let me know in the comment section. If not, then don't worry. We'll discuss about this in my next upcoming videos. Till then, let's stay tuned.